Alright, welcome to the channel guys. In this video we will be showing you how you can add a local user on a Windows workstation and give it admin privilege as well. Uh, and this is gonna be done through the command line. There are multiple ways of adding a user. Uh, in this video though I will only be showing you how you can do it through the command line. So let's get started. As you can see I'm on my desktop. I'm just logged in as a as a, as my account which is also an admin account uh, please make sure you are logged in as an admin account if you are planning on creating a new user who is also supposed to have an admin privilege so let's uh, go to our CMD and you can simply type CMD here and uh, let's run it as admin we'll get the prompt since we are an admin account logged in we will be able to just get to the CMD. Now there is two key commands that you're gonna be using. Uh, the first command is to see how many or what users are actually already there with what privilege and that command is gonna be net space use sir. So it's net space user and we'll hit enter as you can see it shows uh, it's displaying all the accounts on my PC and uh, in, in the front of uh, administrator column you can see that's my account and there is no other account no guest account nothing just one admin account and uh, that's the one of the key command which will let you view all the current users that are already added now let's take an example uh, so I'm gonna call this new user that I'm gonna be setting up test okay uh, you can name it whatever you want uh, but I'll be keeping uh, naming it test just for simplicity uh, the first command to simply add the user is gonna be net so it's the same class of command net user and let's uh, so after the user the username will come up so as I said I'm gonna be keeping the name test for the user so I'm gonna call it test and then just after the username field there is a space make sure there is a space and then comes the password so again for simplicity we will be uh, setting the password test for the test user and uh, a space again and let's add a slash and then we'll add add so that is the command let me bring up a notepad here just so I can uh, explain you better so basically what we did we used so the command is net user and then keep in mind there is space in between all these words okay and uh, here comes the username part so I'm putting in a bracket it's just indicating that this is the positioning of your user account name in actuality when you're when you're actually uh, executing the command there should not be any brackets okay it should be a sim simple word so the user is test well, let me just align this here so it's and the password so after a space in between user and password you need to put in your password so again I'm just showing you the syntax and then there is a space and add so these are the keywords you are gonna have to use net user and add these are the places where you will modify it so for example the user you wanna set up is called uh, let's call it Alex so we will place Alex here and the password you want to set for Alex is one two three and the rest of it is gonna be the same so let me let me set uh, let me remove the test here and I'm gonna create a user named Alex so as you can see net remains the same user remains the same there is a space in between and in the place of user I added test Alex name and in the place of password I will be setting a password uh, for Alex user so let me just set it to one two uh, three four five let's do it one two three four five and the ad is gonna be the same let's hit enter 
and you can see the command was successful now if we use the top command again uh, net user again to view what users there are currently on this computer so I'm gonna com execute the command and you can see Alex is a user now however Alex is not an admin he is just a simple user okay so in order to promote Alex to an administrator there is one more command that we'll, we'll be using and uh, again let me let me remove this here the second command which we will be using to promote Alex who is just a simple regular user to an administrator status is gonna be net the same family of command space local group and now this is the place where again you will have to add the username of the user you are setting up by yourself okay again there is no there is no no bracket needed just put in the name of the user and the and uh, okay actually there's gonna be so we we need to mention what group he will be part of uh, in this case is gonna be a part of administrator so we'll just type administrator here All right, as you can see net local group administrator this is the part which will vary for you when you are setting up the user and after the username there's gonna be a space and then add so that's the command we'll be using to promote Alex in our case to an admin on this PC so let's type it net local group administrators make sure there is an S I, I'm saying it administrator but it's actually administrators so make sure there the, the S is in between again don't worry uh, if I will be putting these commands in the description so you can just simply copy paste them modify the username and password field with the username you're setting and just copy paste it on your command line on the computer you're setting the user at and you should be good now in this case my username is Alex so in place of the username I will be typing Alex here and with the space we'll hit add and it says an error occurred specified group does not exist so definitely made a spelling mistake here let's see admin there we go so yeah it was a spelling mistake just uh, try seeing what the error message is it might happen for you so it's better to read the error message and it usually they are really helpful to tell you what the what the error is in the command and it says the command is successful and you should be done so if we use the net use command again this one which lets us so let me just add this here I'm gonna add that to the description too so it's net space use user and we'll execute the command to see what users we have and uh, in this computer and you can see Alex AJ now it's not clearly telling you if Alex is an admin or not because the results are similar uh, one way to check is uh, through com control panel so basically what I'm doing is in order to bring up the control panel the easiest way would be just use the search okay just type control and you will see the the best match coming up we'll go to control panel we'll make sure we are set to the category not large not small just this is set to the category we'll go to change account type and you can see the Alex is there and you can see it's an admin account so that's how we can confirm the we were able to promote Alex to an admin status on this computer uh, and that's about it guys uh, hope, hope, uh, hopefully it was clear enough for you if you have any questions please let me know in the comments and I'll be able to answer that thank you